All right, guys, what's up? <clears throat> this is Benjamin here at Inspire ADV. Uh, today, I'm gonna do a video based on things that people have been telling me. Um, oh, let me put my gloves on. Safety first. At Gat. Um, <clears throat> in my last video, a lot of people were asking me about uh, the audio and how I did the mic uh, inside the helmet. So I'm gonna be showing you that today. Um, and this first part is just gonna be a demo of what it looks like from the Chin GoPro mount, which I will be showing you how to add uh, with a slight modification to the AT950. Um, so I'm gonna drive around for a second, show you what that looks like, uh, and then we'll get into how to do the mic and how to do the camera. Um, so hopefully this will be kind of a start to finish helmet um, setup type of a video, and I hope uh, people find it helpful. That seemed to be uh, something a lot of people were talking about before, so let's check it out. When I came up with this particular mic setup, I actually wasn't really thinking of it too seriously. I thought, eh, this is the easiest possible way I can do this um, with the least amount of trouble and maybe it will work. And it turned out to work really well, I think. I mean, I had a lot of people comment on it before. You know, when you're um, doing adventure touring stuff, you know, and you're trying to work video into your day, uh, it's best to do things that are really easy and don't take a long time to set up because otherwise you just won't do it. It's as simple as that. At least I won't. I'm lazy. So because of the giant fairing in the front of my bike, uh, it's often kind of hard to see from a chin mount, uh, too much of the road right in front. But like if I'm off-roading and I'm standing like this, then you really get, you really get a really nice view, so, just my two cents. Okay, that's probably enough of that. I'm going to head home now, and uh, we'll get the rest of this video started. Alright guys, we're back home, and here's the helmet. So, <clears throat> where I had the mic for that last bit was right here. Now it doesn't look super secure in there, but these cheek pads are pretty intense and it actually holds there just fine. I've never even had the uh, the windscreen pop off and I'll show you real quick uh, how I put it in there in a way that I wasn't super worried it was going to fall out. All I do is pop out this snap. I don't know if you can see it right here. Take the mic from the outside. Loop it past that snap point like this pop it in and then stick the mic right there and that tends to hold up just fine I haven't had any problems with that so that's it <laughs> then from there the mic comes down I usually run it through my jacket but for this last one I didn't if you saw it in the video um, then I'll take that plug that straight into the GH5 if I have the GH5 if I don't I'll stick it right into my phone turn on an audio app, recording app, and it's done. Okay, for this next part, we're gonna be talking about the GoPro mount here. Um, I got all this information off of a thread from AD, uh, ADV Rider. <clears throat> I listed the link in the last video, uh, and I will list it again in this one so you guys can see the step-by-step. -step. If uh, this is too fast or not detailed enough, I'm just gonna pop through it real quick. This is not overly complicated. Um, all we're doing is so helmet comes with this chin vent here. Gives you two levels of air intake on the front. I don't really notice the difference having it or not having it. Um, and when you take it off, you get this big flat area here that's the perfect size uh, for this. So let's get started. First, we're gonna pop this all the way open and take it down like this. And I don't know if you can see here 
but there are four screw holes here. One, two, three, four. So the first thing we're gonna do is get rid of those. Okay, so grab your favorite tiny screwdriver and just take those out. Okay, now that we're done with that, we can take this plate here out. And you will see a piece of styrofoam right there. We're just gonna take that out, kinda try to remember how it was in there, although it should be pretty self-explanatory. Now we have the release hinge here. And we're just going to take that out as well. There's three screws, one here, here, and here, if you can see that. And now we're going to take those out. Okay, now we can release that. And you can't see it here, because I already took mine off. But this just snaps into here with some normal looking uh, little push snaps. You're just gonna see this top one here, just get like a little knife or something and this one down here, pop those in and then it'll pop right out. Now all you're gonna do is do that whole process backwards and we'll be good to go with a flat surface right here on the chin. Okay, there you have it. Uh, from off the shelf to camera ready in maybe 15 minutes. Uh, if you have any questions uh, or comments, please let me know. I'm happy to help in any way I can. Um, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for coming.